Hey everybody, it's Alex from Rad Titan, and we're here today with Mighty Jacks, and we're joined by Victor. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go around, we're going to do a booth tour, yeah. uh, Victor's going to show us all the goodness. So do you want to introduce good. yourself, Victor? Hi, I'm Victor uh, from Mighty Jacks. Uh, I'm the Chief Investment Officer of the company, and you know, I help the company to look for money and also spend money. So He's also a very good Mondays. singer, if you uh, didn't know. Yeah? <laughs> I, I do not confirm nor deny. And you're blushing a little there now. <laughs> uh, get straight off the bat, I'm embarrassing you. So, if you want to start through, uh, yeah, sure. go through the products. And so, I think here at Money Jacks, we create you know pop art collectibles, mm -hmm. right? And uh, you'll see the, the diversity of our designs. You'll see uh, we don't only have our own products that we create with artists in collaboration with them. We also have products that we work with uh, licenses on. So generally, we license a lot of things. But what we do is we don't we don't produce the actual license style guide. What we do is we create our own version. Of the license, right? To make to you know to give to give our users and also kind of like our customers a different feel for what the particular brand or IP could bring to their collection. That must be quite difficult with approval, like because a lot of uh, companies are very strict with their IP and they're very much like this is the whole uh, document of how you must produce it. So then you come along and you kind of break the mold and you're like, no, we want to do it this way. That yeah. yeah. So I think that requires a bit of uh, uh, confidence and, and also a relationship with the, with the licensors. Right? We've worked with them for a long time. You know, we've been in the market for a while, and we've always been known to produce high quality, you know, new representations right, of their IP. We don't break any rules. Right? I'm not going to cut off Mickey's head, right? but I'm going to make Mickey look different yeah. from how, how all the other companies, all the other artists have tried to represent him. Sure. Um, you, you'll see here, so you know, we have like our standard um, Kind of like single release size, yeah. uh, you know, and this is kind of like these two are our event exclusives. Mr. Satsi is a new design, you know, uh, done in conjunction with uh, Jason Trini, yeah. right? So, you know, it's it's a replica of you know, the good old, good old days when we used to pay like a quarter and yeah. and sit on on these moving <laughs> rides. Uh, we have um, Mickey Mouse transformation. I'm actually going to get a, a photo of myself. There's a life size one over here. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. get a photo of that. Might even be the thumbnail for the video. So yeah. <laughs> We also have like the so Mickey Mouse transformation is a uh, Disney 100 special kind of like design. Yeah. Uh, this is a special color wave done um, for the event. So this is kind of like the uh, purple and silver kind of design, uh, and these are the classic Disney 100 colors, yeah. right? Yeah. So this is kind of like unique. We only have 150 pieces going out, you know. And um, yeah, I hope everyone grabs. Also, the piece. like I mean, not only have you got like the unique designs, but you also got fantastic packaging as well. Yes. Yeah, like a solid. I, solid I think box. if you're gonna put a really expensive item into uh, into a box to yeah. be to be, you know, shipped around the world, it better hold up. You'd be surprised at what some companies get away with. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, so then we move along to the uh, the other lines here. So we also do a lot of blind boxes, right? The blind boxes are a big staple of, of you know, our offering um, to the to the general public. So these are more affordable, right? So we can actually reach out to a much larger group of people. Um, you'll see here a lot of licenses that we work with from, uh, you know, Line. So Line Line has given us all their mascots to be yeah. able to be created into like a horoscope. I'm right, so these are all the different yeah. horoscopes, right? So this is Leo, the Taurus, uh, is it Libra? You know, uh, okay, my uh, my horoscopes Aries, suck. Yeah, so uh, uh, Virgo, Cancer, Sagittarius, uh, uh, no, 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 dude, uh, we both suck. <laughs> <laughs> Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Virgo. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what this one is because that one I thought was, <laughs> this one I thought was Cancer, but then that one, yeah. oh, Aquarius. Oh, yes, the okay. water bearer. Okay, cool. Okay, my can't see Scorpio. <laughs> I think that's me. So this is part of our, 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 our crystal series. Our crystal series uh, essentially uh, uses a, a crystal-like effect on the, on the design to showcase their powers. Yeah. So like for Avatar, what we've done is, you know, all the powers appear in a crystal form. Just like for, uh, if we have another collection for My Little Pony, yeah. the powers also appear in a crystal form. Nice. Right? Uh, these are our top sellers, you know, um, uh, which is Sanrio, right? Sanrio, Sanrio's collections are across the different seasons, right? And we do it, we do them in this half dissected motif with uh, little little balls in them. It shakes, it makes this really uh, satisfying sound. I don't get it, but when you shake it, you pull oh, it up. You know, it's like this odd, satisfying feeling when you shake it. I don't get it, but. <laughs> But, I like, but you know, I like, I like shaking. You're too old it. for that. I don't know. Yeah. So, so <laughs> I think uh, my, my elbow makes that noise when I move it too fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you'll see, like um, the candy series is, is meant to be that, right? Essentially, to provide kind of like a candy silhouette, mm. you know, to the actual designs, right? Oh, like, uh, like when you get the kids and you're like uh, the, the the candy and the yes, okay, the toy. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, okay, yes. Okay. 
So yeah, so that's kind of like our candy series, you know, and if we move on to, to our main collection. Well, so one of the things I just wanted to mention, because it's something that uh, I was looking into recently, and it just like totally surprised me, was um, with the blind boxes, um, some social media classes that as gambling. Mm. And this was like, so, Good point. Uh, Good yeah. point. That's, so that's a new challenge so then. So Alex, we don't do that. Yeah. Right. So if, if for Mighty Jacks, when you buy a full tray from us, we guarantee no repeats. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you always get a full collection. There's an exception to that, right? So in every collection, there's always a rare piece, a chaser, we call yeah. it, right? If we all, we sell our trays in, in packs of six. Yeah. I guarantee you no repeats, but if you get the rare, you will be one piece short. Oh, okay. So you will have to find one more piece. But then you do get the rare, which is really rare. Yeah. You know, yeah. and that's actually what most people want to go for. That's interesting, yeah, because yeah. when, when, when I was told, oh, that's gambling, I'm like, it is, why it is that is. different from Pokemon cards? Because yeah. they're, so, they're, they're blind. It's yeah. the same, right? So there are, there are different ratios that we do for different yeah. types of uh, rarity. And yeah, for us, we tried to go away from that because we want our fans to actually, you know, get what they're paying for, right? Sure. We don't want them to keep buying just for the sake yeah. of buying. We want them to have a proper collection. Oh, and that's, I think, that's, that's good. That's yeah, we don't want waste stage also, but we want to make sure that everything we do here is sustainable, you know, and yeah, yeah. To, to keep at what we do. For sure. Uh, where next in the Mightyverse? I'm going to bring us to, uh, you know, kind of like our mainstay, which okay. is the Mighty Jacks uh, uh, booth, right? Syndicates. Yeah, so this is kind of like what we have here this year is a feature on, this is uh, One Piece. So we just oh, released yeah. wave six of our One Piece um, uh, uh, blind box. Right? We've done uh, really, really well. Well, it's a fantastic time to have a, a One Piece license. Yes, especially Very with Netflix. Very good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and, uh, and this is actually, uh, the rare piece from the, the, the from Wave Six's uh, collection, yeah. So this is Luffy Gear Five. I know yeah. everyone's looking for it. I've seen many people screaming when they open the box with <laughs> a Gear Five in it this morning. So yeah. Have, has anyone got one yet? No. No. Yeah. I try to I try to avoid buying at such events. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Which Which one to start with? These then. Okay. So. Okay. So this is kind of like the mainstay of uh, what Mighty Jacks does. Where we do oh. single release collectibles uh, in, in a in a eight inch format you know uh, which generally is limited by edition size or by time release right so you'll see here this is kind of like our versions of one the one piece characters in yeah. a dissected form I really like the dissected line I think it's a really good thing yeah and really and good. you know how challenging it is to actually change the design of a Japanese company's IP yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I've worked yeah. for a, a company which we uh, we dealt with anime, and um, yeah. I've mentioned this a few times on the channel, but yeah. when you work with anime, it's sometimes with the artists directly, and yeah. uh, it can be much harder than actually working with oh, the studio. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes with like Western side, it can be a case of, here's a little bit more money and it'll kind of get done. Mm -hmm. With the uh, Japanese side, no matter how much money, they don't care. Yeah. And yeah. it's just like, no, it has to be this. Where did that happen in the, where, where's that in the show? Where's that yes. in the manga? Where's that, you know? Yeah. So we really treasure kind of our partnership with Toei. I don't even want to come around and get this one, because this one's cool. Yeah. So we really treasure our partnership with Toei, you know, um, uh, who have really been extremely helpful in terms of helping us to, I uh, kind of like, you know, realize um, the kind of design that we wanted to do yeah. uh, for the IP, right? And uh, these are some of the best sellers that we have uh, yeah, um, within our collection why. too. Yeah. yeah, and 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 you know we are trying to we're trying we're trying to do more, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then you'll see um, other other pieces here that are more um, oh, yeah. uh, internal, all done by uh, Mighty Jax's artists and also some of the people we collaborate with. One of my favorite ones. Wasn't this the one that came with the NFT? Oh yeah, yeah that's yeah, the one yeah, that yeah. used to come with the NFT. You had to buy an NFT in order to actually purchase this. This is a different color wave though. Yeah. Uh, this black and white uh, monochromatic version is actually uh, the one that we released to the public. The one that was done with the NFT is a colored version. Yeah, mm. nice, nice. Yeah. This I one like, is, I like this line here, it's actually yeah. really nice. Actually, Tyler is waiting for this one to be delivered. That, uh, Tyler. So that one is actually um, a piece that we did uh, to kind of like highlight the sustainability message. Okay. So if you look at this, right, it's actually the melting of the polar ice caps, yeah. right? And this is what, and kind of like, you know, the skull at the bottom is to show what happens, you know, when we start to neglect, you know, yeah. the environment and the polar bear is, you know, having a lonely time up there by himself. Yeah. So we, a lot of cool. our pieces have different themes. Um, this is kind of like part of our... our, oh, our heavy, that one. Yeah, sustainable, okay. yeah. It, it's, it's, expected to be that heavy, that's... It's, it's heavy, yeah. yeah, it's heavy. Very weighty. <laughs> and you like, uh, like the collaboration with the uh, the other artists as well here. Yeah, so we have different art artists that we collaborate with. You know, this, like these are some of the different designs that we do. You know, this one's actually um, uh, Mr. Bailey himself, right? Mr. Bailey is a designer you know, yeah. for Adidas, right? And this one that we did. Um, uh, we also have designs with like, uh, 
famous UK artist Rob Boyer, who has um, oh, you know, yeah. yeah, thematically um, very strong images of women and 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 skeletons, yeah. right? So this I is like a these ones, actually, yeah, really and this is a different colorway, right? We have black. this in, ah skull bomb. This no, no, is so the like the way the actual black is bleeding into the clear. I love that. He says, yeah. Like ink in, a, in yeah. water, yeah. It's yeah. Like awesome. So this is actually uh, um, from Jason Freen himself. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Um, where are we go next? Okay, yep. We can go okay. behind. Yep. So this year we what we've done um, to kind of like yeah, you yeah. know open up uh, and also reach out to our um, design community is actually to feature two of our cats, yeah. uh, our Nyankuza. So this one is actually a cat. Fuse with a Yakuza. Yeah. You can see by the designs that the tattoos are well researched and actually yeah. based on real designs. Um, this is actually a mafia, a mafia cat. Right? <laughs> so what we did was we took this design, we gave it out to a lot of artists in Singapore, and we got them to design something based on their own flavor and artistic style. And you'll see here like kind of like, colla like collaborations. Everything here is a unique one of one piece. You know, um, yeah, that one is kind of intense. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Everything is unique, one of one, you know, yeah. and uh, we are we are actually uh, selling it off, you know, to uh, and then we'll be sharing the 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 the, the, the uh, money with you know the artists. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say which one's your favorite, but uh, uh, the, my favorite is this one actually. I, think it's also, I, I actually I actually had one. A yeah. lot of people don't also. A lot of people are like, oh no, they're all my favorite. No 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 no. I actually like this one. I I told them to, to reserve it for me, yeah. but this was the first to sell yesterday. Oh, it sold out. Or it sold you, yesterday. Is uh, it's just to you or no, not to me, oh. man. So, someone got the credit card there faster than me. You were too slow. Yeah, yeah. I, got, I got, I got con. This is cool. So, like, one of the things that we also do uh, are more premium versions of this of the single releases. Yeah. So you see here, this is something basic, something that is kind of like you know our normal uh, limited edition size, uh, and also in terms of numbers, it's, it's made of vinyl, yeah. kind of light, yeah. right, but full color. When these actually do well, what we do is we release a um, premium material version of it called Premium Worked, yeah. right? And what you see here is actually Garfield done in our Premium Worked wood, wow. right? And uh, this is extremely difficult to create. I thought I could, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, uh, and we only did about 200 pieces of this. Uh, I don't think there's so many left uh, available for sale that's anymore. Very nice. I bet that's right. Yeah. So for Premium work, we do not just wood. We've done uh, precious metals, we've done crystal, you know, we have done uh, copper, bronze, uh, anything that we that we can sculpt to fit one of our designs, yeah. we will try it out at the right price, of course. That's nice. Yeah. And it comes in this. this and it comes with the, with the package. It's ridiculous, man. Look at that. Yeah. It's like what you would get, like a expensive whiskey or something. Here, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So inside it comes with that. It comes with a certificate of uh, authentication, authenticity. Oh, I, I thought that was like. Um, Cover for a smaller version. No, oh, and that's, right, the that's, a that's the edition number. That's quite cool. As well. wow. Yeah, can I interest you in one? Uh, can I interest you in one? <laughs> I bumps for my wages. <laughs> no, no. My Christmas. No, I'm working for my Jacks now with uh, Connecticut, so that could be my, my Christmas bonus. Man, <laughs> I, I wish it was my Christmas bonus. <laughs> uh, well, I can always wait for try. Wait for try. Yeah. So um, we've also kind of like. Uh, Sorry, I got away. Oh, okay. We can go behind. Yeah. Like, uh, I'll, oh, no, I'll, we can't. I'll, 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 I'll cover this one. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, then you want to. Sure. So, like, um, so these are some of our other designs. This year, we're actually experimenting with a new size, which is our window box. Yeah. Um, and these are actually from our window box series. So, this one, especially Mr. Monopoly, right? You notice the price is not actually our, uh, as expensive as some of our single release, yeah. but the quality is the same. But we've shrunk the size. We put it into a window box, and this is uh, going to go into mass market. We have no edition size for this. Uh, it's meant to be a mass market item, but you'll see that we're the only ones in the market that has done kind of like a different version of Mr. Monopoly. Yeah. It's not just about him being the rich, spoiled man that he is. <laughs> it's about him having a good time, yeah. you know, just chilling out. Right. So this is our Off Work series. We Absolutely. have one for Mr. Monopoly. We have one for Snake Eyes also from uh, G.I. Joe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tyler, Tyler was saying yesterday that that's one of his favorite ones. Yeah, this one, I bought three of these myself. Oh, wow. Yes. I like the Godzilla with the, uh, the oh, noodles. Oh, that one? Oh, like the Ramen uh, City. Is that available here? Because on the website it's sold out. It's, uh, it's available here. I think, I think I believe we have some for the event. Yeah, and we have different versions of Mr. Cottontail. Yeah, there's suit one too, right? There's one yes. in the astronaut suit. Do you have As that a, one? Uh, I don't think that's been released yet, though. I don't think we have produced it yet. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. 
So this one, uh, I, yeah, I bought three. This is kind of funny because when I saw them making it in the, in, in, the, in the office, in the studio, right, they had problems balancing it. So a good, a good amount of time was spent trying to figure out how to balance the huge rabbit yeah, on top yeah. of the head. Yeah, that was kind of kind of interesting. <laughs> yeah, this is actually a, a Korean uh, tattoo artist. Oh wow! So um, uh, I think it's a I think it's a it's a she, right? Got famous uh, doing these line drawings yeah. uh, on on people's arms. Oh wow! Yeah, I have to look into that. Yeah, so that's uh, Mr. Cottontail. Um, these are some of um, Jason's, Jason Freeney's older work, wow. right? So your gummy fetus, smart bomb, you know. These are still classics, right? And these these look good as like any kind of art sculpture yeah. at home. Yeah. I like the, um, I will go into them later on, but I do like the uh, the, the balloon dogs. The, the balloon dogs, like the... Um, oh, the balloon dogs, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wonder if it's like... Uh, yes, 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 yes. We don't, we don't have it here. No. Um, I think the new ones that we are featuring are, are the ones on the, yeah, on, yeah. the, and the on the kitty ride, yeah. And um, what else? Because um, uh, you also got involved in the kind of NFT side as well. So yeah, back then, you know, we actually um, own like two uh, NFTs, one for the, the body. We have a, our own body and we have our own mutiny. Oh, yeah. And what we did was we wanted to create everything beneath the NFT, what was not seen in frame. Yeah. Right. So, so, that, so this is kind of like our version of this is actually Jackson. <laughs> and uh, we wanted to show other collectors that this is something they could do. We wanted to do a bespoke printing for a lot of the NFTs that are available in the market. Yeah, yeah so that's something that we tried. Yeah, yeah that's like unique, and obviously yeah. now there's still market for the NFTs. They're still, it is. Yeah. They're still yeah. going. Yeah. But now there is. Indonesian artists, yeah. uh, you know, um, uh, uh, um, what, he, what he did was we used this this kind of like a silhouette. If you, know, if you remember, this is from Banksy. Banksy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a Banksy silhouette, right? Um, and then what we did was we brought um, different art licenses like The Simpsons, um, 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 Garfield. Yeah. and put them into this particular pose with the kind of things that they like the best, lasagna yeah. and donuts. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah. And this is kind of like, you know, you know, after a while collecting statues, you get you get kind of bored because yeah. it looks the same and all statues can't do anything. This is something I'm that we... i not there yet, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's something different that we have done. Right, we've actually made this into a incense chamber. Oh, wow, well, yeah. So what I, you get... I saw the older one, there was a knight. Yes, the, yeah, the, yeah. the older one is like a, it's like a soldier, yeah. right? Uh, we have a samurai. Uh, and then we actually have a new anime character, Yuji, from uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. Also done as an incense chamber. Yeah, so what happens is, movement. you burn the incense and the smoke comes out from the holes in his body. Oh, yeah. right? And in the case of uh, Yuji from Jujutsu Kaisen, the smoke comes out, he's in a battle pose, and then the smoke comes out from the back. Yeah, like an so it's like what you see in the show, like, like him getting all... You know, yeah. flame on. <laughs> flame on. <laughs> flame on. That's a different wrong, license. Wrong, wrong, wrong license. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Uh, yeah. Where next? Um, so I don't know. Do. Okay. We, I don't know. We want to talk about. Uh, like, yeah, how you do. I've already done the Kanaka side, oh, so we can have like. You, have you done? Sorry. Have you, have you done some of the partners? No, I haven't. Uh, oh, I've okay. already done the Kanaka okay, part, okay. and then. Uh, so I don't know how much we should talk about this, but okay. But anyway, it's we, up to you. Yeah. However um, much or however little yeah. you want to talk about it. Yeah. So I think like. Um, so Kyodo is one of the partners that we are uh, that's new uh, that we're trying to work with in in a, in a bigger way, right? They are a 60-year-old Japanese company, okay, right? Very well known for doing all kinds of different um, artistic work, everything as small as as these figurines, yeah. you know, to large um, um, even like museum <laughs> museum dioramas, right? Yeah, you see this one, it's super cute. Yeah, the rhinos and then all the toilets. <laughs> that's quite cool. So they're, they're, they're well known um, for, for dioramas. They've even done some of the dioramas in the, in are like, you, you know. Sorry, in, are these more like, are they blind boxes? Or I, thought I they were gonna be. I think these are all like little blind boxes that they yeah. do. So it's actually, uh, it's actually like, like toilet time, six per box. So you actually get six of these in one box. <laughs> yeah. Um, they're also known for the action figures today, right? They do a lot of really, really great, like fully articulated action figures. Yeah. Uh, the Amazing Yamaguchi series is one of the, one of my favorites. Right, uh, I'm a big fan. You know, I have a lot of a lot of characters. They have Marvel and DC. You know, so you'll see Iron Man, Venom. Um, Very poseable, and also yeah. you get the uh, the stands, so you yeah. can actually yes, it comes with the really stand, kind of poses. Right? Wow. Yeah. And you'll also see like um, I think the best piece is Spider Man. 
they released a second version of Spider. It's not here because yeah. uh, that's one of the harder ones. We're a big Spider-Man fan as well. Yes, so, yeah, oh, you're a big could... Spider-Man. I have, I have it at home. Uh, see it, like the articulation you see from the Spider-Man for the Amazing yeah. Yamaguchi book, Series Two. Venom is pretty cool as well. Though. Yeah. So this is some of the more funky stuff that uh, Kaido does, right? Because their artists are, 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 are true artisans, right? They work on things that they really love. Yeah. Um, this is them trying to explore the anatomy. Well, I think um, bugs. Uh, insects, bugs, uh, they're very, very important. If you want to be a sculptor and you want to do like a monster creature design, yeah. Yeah. look into uh, bugs, look into like that kind of world yeah. and you'll get some ideas from that. Yes, no, no yes. Doubt, you know. So like this was a bestseller for them, the, the uh, Asian giant hornet. If, if you take it out and you articulate it, it's amazing, right? The amount of, uh, like the amount of, uh, amount of mechanisms they put in to articulate it that way, it's, it's, it's a truly a, a work of art. I think if one of those flew towards me, I'd shit myself. So, <laughs> God damn, that's good. <laughs> you put it at home, you're like, no, you're going to go. Terrifying. <laughs> but just Jesus. leave you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yep. So, okay, you want to, you want to, um, I'm not sure how much you want to talk about it, the, the, the Chinese. Um, it's the, up to you, man. Up okay. To you. Um, Sorry. I think the, the gist of this section uh, is essentially that we, Mighty Jacks has been growing as a company. You know, we uh, we have a very specific audience globally, right? And uh, what we have done is also built up a sales infrastructure, yeah. right? That actually helps to enable the sales of items in our space. Yeah. So what we have um, also noticed is a lot of Chinese IP that are really, really, you know, different and unique, right? But have, have issues kind of like uh, actually selling outside of China. Right, so what we want to do... That was something I found out the other day because I went to China and uh, like my phone pretty much shut down. Like I couldn't get on social media. Uh, I couldn't contact anyone. My like yeah. uh, WhatsApp shut down. And I literally had to, well, I had to get an uh, uh, IPN. Like just got me able to do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The first day I was like, I couldn't contact anyone. Oh, wow. So it was all like the social media there is totally separate. And yeah. like, yeah, even like, China's a whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Russia's a whole thing. And yeah. yeah, it's crazy how. I, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I think being in the Western side, we're quite blind to it. Yeah. We don't, we don't expect it. So I think what we're trying to do is we're trying to use our sales infrastructure to help them to kind of bridge, right, uh, between uh, their domestic market and the international community, right. So we're trying to do it in small waves. Uh, we have we have we have handpicked and curated uh, specific IPs oh, yeah. that we believe could work in the markets that we are strong in. Right, and we're gonna help them to push it through our sales channels. So you'll see here, like kind of like a, a different, a very different style from Mighty Jacks. Uh, in fact, it's not a very Western type of style. So we have to be very um, uh, careful with the way we curate some of these products. Like some of the designs are, are very uh, a, bit, a bit a bit unique. Yeah. Some of them are still kind of cute. These the funny ones should still appeal. <laughs> I like this one. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. But some of the others are still fairly experimental, I would say, for the Western market. It's not a, you know, I would say it's, it's, it's a bit of a different uh, 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 appeal. It's like, yeah, such a range. Like so many, like, so many different things. I mean, you've got your fingers in many pies. Yeah. You know, there's so many projects going on. Yes, it's, uh, yes. Wow, yeah. Yeah, so you'll see there's a lot more that, uh, yeah. in terms of, so we want to be able to offer um, our our use our, our kind of like our, our fans and you know, and our our customers a larger variety of, of styles and, and and kind of like even looks and even different types of sizes you'll notice that the blind boxes here these are all blind boxes but yeah. different ranges uh, very different types of styling you know touching different types of themes and 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 also kind of like different types of design design formats uh, I would yeah. say yeah I mean the blind boxes I mean even in London the stores are opening up now yeah. in central yeah. London blind box stores are there. Yes, exactly. So, so I think yeah. I think the blind box phenomenon will not go away. Yeah. Right. We want to make sure that we are there to also kind of like, you know, when it was put in... There, like, like when I was a kid, like 30 years ago, uh, yeah. you get like the border package, you tear yes, it open, yes, and yes. you had like the... little weird, I don't know, I don't know what they were called now. I think you had the muscle men as well at one point. Uh, I don't know if you had those, like the little like wrestler characters. Yes, uh, the, the, but it's also blind. So you open it yeah. and they're like soft gooey ones, right? Muscle men, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. there was like this other thing, Oh God, I can't remember what they call Billy. Yeah, like slight. But we used to pay like cents, right? Like, 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 like less than a dollar. I think less we paid than... a bit more because they were like, all imported, so we had to pay more <laughs> for them. But yeah, but no, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, like back in the day, it used to be like 
couple of dollars at most. Yeah. Today it's like twenty bucks, right? So yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah. it's a it's a different game. Uh, quality wise, it's very different, right? So yeah. And do you want to talk about Bobby? Yeah. Oh, so sorry, Robbie even. So Robbie, uh, Robbie is kind of like um, um, a product that was, that was uh, conceptualized in China, right? Um, they've done what we call uh, you see here's a space rabbit, right? And uh, what they've done is three different sizes, you know, for the four hundred percent. The 100 percent, 400 percent, the 1,000 percent, right? And what they've done uh, that's really unique to them is the collaborations. So, which size are these? So, these are the. So this is uh, 100, is 100, and 1,000. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then what was the other size? You said oh, sorry, no. This is 400. This is 400. Yeah. And there's a hundred, which is like the oh, size of a keychain. Okay. My, my mistake. Yeah. So you'll see that they have really, really strong collaborations. Oh wow! You got like NBA. We have NBA behind. You have like Lamborghini. You have Aston oh. Martin, you have like La Liga. We'll have to check out the other side quickly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, the, so I think, like they have, one of their strengths is uh, their ability to actually um, work with really large, you know, brands like Mondrian, right? Um, to actually put their logo and their style on onto their onto their silhouette. One of the small things about this though is like, and there's other companies that have done this is, once you've got that mold in place, yeah, and once you paid that cost for those molds, yeah, yeah. Because exactly. Yeah, it just exactly. Is such right? a small uh, yeah. business model. And then, and then the difference is that we try to make it make make every piece a little unique. Yeah. You see the one in the collaboration with Peco. We put like little plastic candies inside yeah. because Peco is a is a very big uh, candy brand, right? And then you'll see like uh, with the, I think there's a Porsche design one. Uh, oh, it's just cute. Yeah. There, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it has a heart inside. Uh, the one with Porsche design has like a like a nice red line that has a light that flashes back and forth. Yeah. So you'll see that. They've tried to um, flourish it with like you no know, different um, uh, uh, kind of features. Okay. Yeah. That's it. That's probably it. I think that's any product wise. You know, that's kind of like a good a good selection of what we oh, have. Yeah, no, it's great. Yeah. I mean, thank you for taking the time. I know you're a busy man. And uh, anything you'd like to add at the end? Anything to wrap up or? Uh, no, I mean like. Just uh, to be on the spot again. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, I mean like uh, we are a, we are a young brand yeah. looking to grow globally. Right, looking to appeal to more fans around the world and, and just basically trying to, you know, uh, um, well, bridge cultures, right, from, from different parts of the world, from Asia into Europe, into North America. We want to keep doing that via the, the products. So that's you know. a good thing you're doing is you are bridging the cultures, but also you are uh, doing it at, like, the, the, price, the different price points. Yeah. So, like, you're getting, like, as many people involved yes. as possible. Yeah, we want to make sure that there's something for everyone, right, even, even at, at a mass market level, you know, and also for the very, very kind of a hardcore collector right at the end, you want to make sure that there's something that they can buy that no one else can buy, we have that for them too. And then like, uh, right, I'd like to thank you for your time there and uh, definitely check out, I'll put the links in the uh, description below. Uh, what you do as well is uh, as part of the Mightyverse, um, Connecticut is involved in that. There will be a separate video for Connecticut, so definitely check that out as well. And uh, yeah, I'd like to thank you. Like, comment, subscribe and share and happy collecting. Bye bye.